Talk. World Tech and Innovation. Hello and welcome back to TWT AI. This video is about innovation in the tire. Airless tires, yes that's right, no air to be put in the tire ever again. Who would have thought we would have come this far from the so-called square wheel? When humanity finally got smart and said to move an object forward on the road or rugged terrain, the wheel will have to be round, Eureka, a great idea. And history was made, since that time automotive. Bikes and wheels go together like peanut butter and jelly, except, in this case, automotive and bikes will not be able to move forward without wheels, yeah well. How's about another metaphor? Guns are no good without bullets, as automotive and bikes are no good without wheels. Well, enough about the chatter. Let's get to why we're here airless tires. Since the days of the carriage, horse, and buggy equipped with Kelly Springfield tires, innovation came a long way. With the inception of rubber pneumatic tires in 1888 on the Benz gasoline-powered car, advancements in materials and technology have made huge strides. Air-filled tires began to increase in popularity in 1895 and have been the norm since then, though in many various designs, Cooper, E.F. Goodrich, Bridgestone, and Continental, to name a few out of many more brands and styles for all weather conditions, well great. Innovation wants to make more changes in airless, yes, a tire that will never again go flat. Non-pneumatic tires NPT, or flat-free tires are tires that are not supported by air pressure. They are used on some small vehicles such as riding lawn mowers and motorized golf carts. They are also used on heavy equipment such as backhoes, which are required to operate on building demolition sites. The risk of tire punctures is high. Tires composed of closed cell polyurethane foam are also made for bicycles and wheelchairs. They are also commonly found on wheelbarrows, which may be used for yard work or construction. The main advantage of airless tires is that they do not go flat. Other advantages are that airless tires need to be replaced less, resulting in savings. Heavy equipment outfitted with airless tires will carry more weight and engage in more rugged activities. Airless tires are attractive to cyclists, as bicycle tires are much more vulnerable to punctures than motor vehicle tires. The drawbacks to airless tires depend on the use. Heavy equipment operators who use machinery with solid tires will complain of fatigue, whereas lawn mowers that use solid or airless tires have no drawbacks. Bicycle riders who use airless tires may complain that the tire is harder than a comparable pneumatic tire. However, only anecdotal evidence suggests that airless tires may cause broken spokes on a bicycle wheel. Citation needed any airless tire will be heavier than the rubber tire it is meant to replace, however, many rubber pneumatic tires are also heavy. Rubber tires vary in rolling resistance, and an airless tire or solid insert may only marginally increase rolling resistance, if at all. Installation of airless tires depends on the use. Heavy equipment will need special equipment to mount, but an airless bicycle tire can be mounted with little or no effort. Solid airless lawnmower tires come pre-installed on the wheel, allowing quick installation. Many bicycle sharing systems use these tires to reduce maintenance. In 2005, Michelin started developing an integrated tire and wheel combination, the twill derived from tire and wheel, which, as the name twill suggests, are combined into one new fused part, which operates entirely without air. Michelin claims its twill has load-carrying, shock-absorbing, and handling characteristics that compare favorably to conventional pneumatic tires. However, the tire has a lot of vibration when driving over 50 miles per hour, therefore the tire is only available for golf carts, ATVs and skid steer vehicles. In 2019 however, Michelin and GM announced their goal of making a new airless tire for passenger vehicles in 2024. The Automotive Engineering Group of the Mechanical Engineering Department at Clemson University is developing a low-energy loss airless tire with Michelin through the NIST ATP project. Crocodile Tires developed and sells a robust version that bolts to standard mining equipment. Brazilian Technologies and the University of Wisconsin-Madison's Polymer Engineering Center are creating a non-pneumatic tire, which is basically a round polymeric honeycomb wrapped with a thick, black tread. The initial version of the tire is for the Humvee and is expected to be available soon. Brazilian Technologies airless tires have been tested and are used by the U.S. Army. It is also the first group to make a commercially available mass-produced airless tire after its acquisition by Polaris, albeit only coupled with their vehicle. The tire trademark is Terrain Armor. Bridgestone is developing the Bridgestone Airfree Concept Tire, which is similar to the Twheel and can hold 330 pounds per tire. The Energy Return Wheel, ERW, has the tire's outer edge connected to the spring's system's inner rim. The springs can have their tension changed to vary the handling characteristics. 
In Australia, Big Tire Proprietary Limited is developing a non-pneumatic, non-solid wheel designed to handle high working loads, such as those found in underground mines. The wheel utilizes multiple arrays of concentric leaf springs to distribute force evenly across the wheel. The wheel prototype was built in 2011 and has been tested on an Inco 936 underground loader. New tire technology on the horizon may actually reinvent the wheel, or at least the rubber tire. Toyo Motor Corporation is looking into using airless tires to reduce vehicle weight and road friction ultimately. At the end of October, Toyota employed Gyroblade airless tires on their fine comfort ride concept vehicle displayed at the Tokyo Motor Show. Japan Sumitomo Rubber Industries created the airless Gyroblade tires, which feature a rubber band encircling a plastic aluminum center. Airless tires contribute to greater safety and peace of mind in transportation by freeing the driver from worries about punctures and the trouble of having to manage tire pressure. Theoretically, the airless tires would compensate for the increased weight of an electric engine. However, the airless technology is not quite ready. Currently, the airless tires weigh about the same as air-filled tires. What's more, the airless tires have rolling resistance issues that pneumatic air-filled tires do not, and the new airless tires generate more rolling resistance, or friction, which works against the tire when it's in motion as much as 10 to 20% worse than current pneumatic tires. Toyota and Sumitomo are not the first to enter into the airless tire game, though they are the first to try the technology on passenger cars. Bridgestone and Michelin both have versions of airless tires for lawnmowers, golf carts, construction machinery, and recreational all-terrain vehicles ATVs. Sumitomo is working to overcome these rubber limitations and speculates that a lighter tire with less rolling resistance will soon be ready. Besides, Sumitomo officials promise customers that the new tires will not break the bank instead of being as affordable as their air-filled counterparts. Thank you for watching. Please hit the like button, subscribe, turn on notifications for new videos from TWTAI.